What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hippo Supercoach and today we have the teams and my final trade so discuss them a bit. Nothing too crazy here but um, yeah we'll go over them real quick. So Ben Jones and Lysat in. So Tico Meta, this is probably the biggest news of all the teams to be honest. Um, really stiff if you started or didn't start but if you brought in Bryn Tico because yeah he's been dropped <laughs> and who knows if he'll come back in. I'm not sure. It, it's yeah, it's really unlucky, and you know? I was pretty hot on him, but turns out he's just not quite as good as what we might have thought. Um, nothing else really from Melbourne that's relevant. Christian Salem could be a good draft pick, but I probably wouldn't be um, looking at him for classic. <clears throat> Aaron Horback in is another one. To sort of note, um, named on the half-back line, and Shizzle's named on the wing. Now, we obviously can't really take too much out of where players are named, but... Still something to consider. Aaron Hall is going to be taking some kick-ins. So, where's Zeeble name? Still in the back line. So, Sheasel. Sheasel might get hurt by the Aaron Hall. I don't know. Wait and see. Uh, for Sydney, nothing too crazy. Obviously, Callum Mills is out. So, you expect Goulden to get a bit more CBAs. Named on ball. That's really good. But he's been scoring really well without CBAs. So, maybe it's not a good thing. <laughs> I don't know. He's just in good form, I think. Uh, doggies. Nothing too relevant there. Crows, nothing too relevant there either. Um, close, Henry Stengel, no. Duncan injured, so anyone that picked him pretty stiff. Um, he has had a lot of injuries, though, in recent times. So if you did pick him, you knew that that was a, that was a concern. But, um, yeah, stiff if you had him. Freo, nothing really. Neil <laughs> Rose was managed. Uh, Brisbane versus Gold Coast. So Thomas Berry been omitted. So if you went early on him, really stiff. I know a couple of people did. Um, nothing you can do about it. But yeah, he, yeah, he he was pretty shit last week and the week before, to be honest. Um, and yeah, so Sharp has kept his spot. So Wilmot Sharp named on the interchange, and then over here Humphrey's named on the interchange. So yeah, double downgrades tempting this week. Hump, getting Humphrey and Sharp, but I think I'll, I think I'll stick to just getting the one, and I'll tell you who that is in a second. Uh, so Setterfield's out, had a foot injury, I believe. Ridley back in, it's good for anyone that held him. Oh, I hope he comes good for you guys, but um, yeah, pretty stiff starting him. Jacob Hopper injured, we already knew that. Um, Nank comes back in, so Samson Ryan should probably lose that ruck duty a little bit. I don't think he'll score as well. Uh, Hawthorne and West Coast. This is the last game. Fergus Green back in. That's okay if anyone held him, but his break even's kind of screwed now anyway. Uh, Chess is back in. But this is the extended team, so we don't know who's actually going to get dropped. Connor McDonald. Yeah. Uh, who else is on the end? The extended. Weddell's there, so he, he could be out. And Bramble. So Seamus Mitchell's. And on field, that's good. He won't be dropped. All right, let's have a look at my team and what trades I'm thinking of doing. I think I'm going back to the start. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go back to keep it simple. Just get Clayton Oliver tomorrow night. Finally lock in Clary into my side. Now, I did flirt with the idea of lead. Um, however, I didn't like one. He's got a still relatively high break in. And he is kind of injured. It seems like he's just been a bit banged up, so... Probably not looking to bring someone in that's too banged up um, into my side, especially for 600k. It's, I don't think that's a good option. So, vice captain, captain, I'll probably just go simple, Bont and Oliver. Seems just what everyone's been doing lately. So it'd be nice to actually have that luxury of going Clayton Oliver because it's it's been so hard to watch Melbourne games without him. I've just about not watched any Melbourne games just because he's pissed me off not having him and how much he pigs it up. Um, in terms of who can we loop and not loop, so let's have a quick look. Um, oh, Drury named on. That's a good one. Uh, is he named on field? North has had so many outs. Who got, who didn't get dropped? Curtis Taylor got omitted, but they didn't drop Drury. Wow. Drury named on the interchange. Yep, so fingers crossed he can get like a 40 plus. <laughs> not asking for too much there, I wouldn't have thought, but maybe we are. Sin Cotter, uh, select his emergency. Hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. When the fuck did they play? What? When did Carlton play? Were we on the Sunday? Oh, for some reason that wasn't loading, okay. 
Darcy Cameron in, that's good. Harvey Harrison, so debutant. So yeah, Sincotta, fuck, he could be dropped. Deconing Fisher Boyd come in. I don't think any of them are defenders, so should be okay. Cardi, Fahi, Briggs, Toby Green, Gresham, Max, Tom Campbell. He's named on the centre bench again, so I don't think he'll be in. <laughs> Bytel probably the sub once again. Just absolutely destroyed my cash gen. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so fuck, I do not want to have to field jury. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just um, ideally. Oh, so Matthew Johnson didn't get brought back in. He was selected as emergency. Fuck's sake. I was really hoping he'd just come back in, but yeah, okay. Uh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. I don't want to field sharp either, but it looks like we might have to. Unless we do something. Where's Wilmot actually named? Sharp's name on the bench. Wilmot's named. Uh, he's on the bench too. <laughs> Fuck. Um, yeah, I don't want to have to field these guys. At all. Like, at all. What's Radicalia's break even? Oh, I wish I had someone I could slot in here, like a Madden, and get Rat on the field. Because I feel like I trust him more than Sharp, but I think we're just going to have to trust some of these shit rookies. Like, Sharp. Sharp on field. Fucking hell. It's not, it's not ideal, but it looks like it's something we're going to have to do. Um, can I leave Wilmot on for Simpson? 4.35, So, if I... Emergency Simpson, and then I could bring Matthew Johnson on. No, they play at the same time. I could bring Bartel on, and he's probably going to sub. I don't think I can do any loops. Fuck me. Okay. This is looking chalked. <laughs> I want Davies 7. Well, at least he's on the sub this week, I assume. Um, yeah, so yeah, going with Clayton Oliver, I think it's just time to jump on. Like, I do think he could cop some attention over the next few weeks. Um, and it's not like my final move, like I could change tomorrow, but I'm pretty confident Clary's going to be around that top mark anyway, even though you might have some down games, you might get a bit cheaper, but still going to have to pay, you know, upwards of 600k for him at some point, and I just think, yeah, get him in, get him in as soon as possible, and hopefully they go to Petrarca if they're going to tag, which they probably will. But that's it for the video, guys. Um, let me know your trades, I'll be interested to know. Um, Bailey Humphrey, 10,000 people bringing him in. I, I, look... The more I looked into it, I don't think it's as much of a trap as what I initially thought in my tra trap video. And I think, obviously, that buy is very handy. It's still an option to go Oliver down to Humphrey and just double down. And fingers crossed they both have decent weeks and can get some cash gen rest restarted. Because it is annoying. If you don't have Humphrey and he does pump out another ton, unlikely, yes. Uh, especially with a hard run for Gold Coast. But, um, yeah, it, it's 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 scary prospect if he starts going off, which I don't think will happen, but yeah. Wait and see. Bless you for the video, guys. Let me know your trades. Uh, any any ideas for my trades? If you would do something different or in my position, whatnot. Any advice? I think it's good to get everyone's feedback at times like these where there's a lot of just. It's going to come down to a lot of luck. Let's be real. Like no one knows for certain what's going to happen. If Humphrey's going to be good, if Sharp's going to be good, if one of them's going to drop next week, no one has a clue. So. A lot of luck at this point, and um, yeah, let me know if anyone has any insight on any of these guys, and um, I'll see you in the next video.